What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. We're obviously in a different garage today and we're actually checking out the Challenger to see if what we can do. Our goal today is to get the hood open. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're not gonna like crank it up. We're not gonna add some freaking turbo in there. We're just gonna try to get the hood open just so we can kind of see what we're looking at and what we're kind of working with. It hasn't been worked on in over like almost 30 years. So we'll see what we can get. There's a lot of stuff on the car. Like you guys saw in the last video when we first introduced the car. A couple of stuff has have been cleaned up since the last time we were here. And it looks a little bit more presentable from the last video because there was a lot more stuff like around the car and on the hood. But let me show you guys what we're working with. So this is what we're working with. Like I said, a bunch of stuff has been cleared up since the last time you guys seen it. So we're going to take a bunch of stuff off of the hood. We're going to see what's underneath the hood and then we'll go from there. I'm kind of nervous because I have no idea if there's going to be any spiders. And there, this, the front grill, there was a lot of stuff that was on there that has been cleaned up. Which looks very good and looks very mean. Because before it was like obviously there was a bunch of stuff but now it looks pretty sick. So now let's go ahead and get all this stuff off and then we'll open up the, we'll see what we're, what we're working with. All right, so now that we got a bunch of stuff off of the hood, I'm gonna attempt to pop the hood. I'm a little nervous. I'm afraid like a rat's gonna like grab my hand or a spider's just gonna like crawl into my glove. Let's see what we can do. Did you record that? I did. Help me, help me. Oh, my bad. Let's get it. Oh. So you guys are probably asking yourself, damn, that's pretty cool. What am I looking at? Honestly, I wish I could tell you, cause I don't know. All I do know is that this is a 318 carburetor, carburetor engine. engine, but I'm honestly, I have no idea what that means. I am more familiar with like the JDM type of engines, more stuff like that. When it comes to like 318s, I don't even know what that means. Does that mean 318 horsepower? Does that mean 318 torque? Like, I don't even know what that means, but that's all I know. And it says it on the sticker over there, so let me show you. So on this sticker right here, it does say 318 vehicle emission control information. That's pretty cool. I don't have that on my car and I don't think any new cars have that. So that's pretty cool to see. It does say the engine is a 318, which is essentially what this dude is. There is a lot of rust on there, like surface rust, which is something that we were anticipating and what we kind of figured we were gonna be dealing with. Um, when starting this project. At this point, there is no battery. So you do see a lot of like the acid, the battery, like corrosion, corrosion and all that stuff. And this plate is all rusted. So we're probably gonna have to replace that too. But for the most part, it's just really dusty and it needs like a major, like major, major clean. That is the carburetor there. And you guys probably asking like, damn, you know your stuff. Honestly, we don't know our stuff. We just know that that's the carburetor and that's where the battery is supposed to be. You got the radiator, you got a, you got your belt right there. So yeah, we're gonna be learning a lot just as much as you guys are. From what I know and from what we know is that this has the potential to be very, very loud with a decent amount of power. You know, you know it's not something you see every day. It looks like it looks like it should be loud. Like if it's not loud, then why is it? Like, what are you doing? Exactly. In the interior, you do have a lot of like stuff in here, which is the next project we'll probably get to. We'll clear out the interior and we'll see what, what else we can get. But just like the little bits and pieces here, you do have like a Challenger, Challenger badge right there. That's pretty sick. And then if you can see down there, but down there where like the carpet area is, down there, it looks like a Mustang logo. I don't know why. This is a Challenger. This is not a Mustang. So I don't know why there's a Mustang looking logo down there, but it's a one observation that I 
that I've seen. I do see manual window controls. Like obviously this, there's nothing in here that is electrically functioned or powered. So, so this moves the rear window. So there's a lot of stuff in there that I can't like do it all the way, but you open up the door. You do have the other manually controlled window knob thing. Obviously for people who are older than me and people who have driven cars in like the 80s and the 90s who have manual powered windows, the window rolls up. And in my opinion, this sucks. Nah, this is freaking sick. It's sick, but when it's hot and you have to roll down your window, you gotta like do it manually, but this works. So that's cool. Manual windows, just flex. It's just a major flex. You just roll it down. But the question is, what happens if you're driving and you wanna roll down your passenger door window? Do you just lean over and you just do it? Or do you like park, get out, roll down your window, and then you go? How do you do it? What if you're like in traffic and you want to roll down this window? Some valid questions that we have, you know, we're pretty inexperienced with older vehicles, but yeah. So that's pretty much what we're dealing with. Like I said, the next project is going to be clearing out the interior, kind of get a seat. Hopefully there's not any rats. Hopefully there's not any spiders up in there. Cause that's going to be, it's not something that I'm looking forward to, but that's going to have to wait till the next video. But let us know what you guys think. If you guys are familiar with like American muscle engines, 318s in particular let us know in the comment section down below because we have no idea we don't even know what we're looking at we don't even know the potential that it has we just know that it's a 318 we just want to give you guys like an update video on what's going on the progress of the challenger and kind of where we're like where our plans are for this we're taking this with baby steps we don't want to jump in the deep end we don't know how to tread you feel me we're not going to crank it just yet but we are just going to kind of see what we're working with and overall just kind of like just go with the flow, you know? Found victim number one. I'm not trying to get too close and then it's like a lie. Hey, just touch it. Yeah, do you just... Hey, just touch it? No. Hey, victim number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So yeah, that's uh, victim number one. Victim number one spider. Hopefully it's only spiders and it's not like a rat or anything up in here. Yeah, let us know what you guys think or let us know if you guys have any knowledge on the 318 because I need some knowledge. Put me on with some knowledge in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the update and you guys are excited about the challenge, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. If you guys aren't already, subscribe to the channel down below. If you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. We have updates on our cars every so often. If you guys haven't done that already, definitely do that. We'll put our Instagrams on the screen right here. So he kind of pulled up a picture of the potential potential of what it can look like and then here's another picture of how it's going to look like honestly i think that's pretty sick you know you got you got the lexus as a daily you feel me and then you got this as like your weekend car it's a big flex i call dips first i'm driving no nah. call dips first but that's in the next video see you guys in the next one Peace. all right bonus clip we're about to open the trunk Taking bets on if we're gonna find more stuff or or, or no stuff. All right, I'm a little nervous. I don't know what I'm gonna find here. Oh oh oh! Yo! Oh! That was it. Damn, dude! Jeez! <laughs> so for the most part, it is pretty empty, but it is pretty small back here. We do have a wheel. We got some. We got a helmet. Someone was probably doing construction work up in here. Got some bags, tape, sounds kind of sus. See so you the gas cap right here. And the line feeds into there. I've never seen that before. You know, in the trunk, it's really just empty. If you stay till the end, shout out to you. You guys got a little bonus clip of a wheel and a fuel line with a helmet, tape, and a bag.